Hello, in this activity we're going to talk about the life cycle of an activity. All right, I'm going to start up a new application. So I'm going to call mine Life Cycle Demo. And let's go through the steps here. I'm going to choose an empty activity and activity main. Okay, it looks like the app is already built, so let's go and start modifying things. I'm going into activity main XML and I'm going to add a button. So let's go to the button area, drag it down. I want to center these guys. So for hello world, let's uh, change his bottom constraint to attach to the top of the button. Let's click the button and let's change his constraints so he is centered in the area below the text view. So let's give this uh, text view a name. So let's switch his ID to TV counter. And let's go into the button and let's name him as button clicker. All right, so I'm still trying to get these guys centered relative to each other. So let's go into the text area. And for the button, I'm going to put in a new constraint. So constraint, and I'm gonna set the top to the bottom of the, let's see, ID counter. There we go. All right, let's give some text to the front of these. So let's call this click me. And for hello world, we'll just leave it as hello world. All right, so th for the next phase, let's create uh, an unclick listener so we can make this button do something. And then we'll create a variable that will be the counter. So let's set up some variables that will be uh, to track these two controls. So button clicker and text view counter is what I'm going to name them. The next phase is to actually assign these two variables a value. So in the onCreate method, I will find the ID number for each of these in the layout and assign it. Let's also set a value for a variable. We'll call it integer clicks and we'll start with zero. The next phase is to create an unclick listener. So our button clicker can do something. Inside of here, we'll create a new click listener object. And then finally, the unclick method shows up. So let's add one to the clicks value and then set the text value for the counter to clicks. So it looks like the app is up and running. Now I'll start clicking it. And sure enough, it shows that it is clicking and adding one to the value. Now here's the catch. If I rotate the phone, and my phone doesn't automatically reformat the app, so I click here in the corner and start clicking again, you can see that the number repeats back to zero and then climbs from there. So it appears that my app doesn't work like I've designed it, or at least I hoped anyway so that the user loses track of his score every time he rotates the phone. So there's two ways we could get around this. One is we could prevent them from rotating the phone, which annoys people, or we could actually try to see if we can capture the value of this counter and keep it between phone flips. To do that, we're going to have to talk about the life cycle of the app. To ensure that our application works properly, we're going to have to go in and review these different methods that are in the life cycle of the app. And so we'll create some more methods in the next video and see if we can understand this whole process and make our app work properly. 